In this video, I'm gonna teach you the five life lessons that I learned from day trading. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable. So once you start diving into the world of day trading, you realize that there is a absurd amount of information on the topic. Therefore, you must sit through hours and hours, if not hundreds, if not thousands of hours of educational content, because it is not a small topic that you can learn in an afternoon. The more information you know, the better you will become at day trading because you know all aspects of it instead of honing down on just one simple topic. So the first life lesson that I learned from day trading is dedication. You got to dedicate a lot of time and you need to make the commitment to dedicate that time every single day because like any skill, the less you do it, the weaker that skill will become. The more you do it, the stronger you will become at that skill set. You never really forget just like riding a bike, but it will get worse over time if you don't do it consistently. Which leads me right into the second topic, consistency. In order to be a good day trader, you need to be consistent. You need to get on the charts and you need to work on that skill set every single day, even when you don't want to. Having specific rules-based strategies that absolutely force you to be consistent in order to be successful over time and get the win rate that you've backtested, you need to do the same thing every day. You need to trade the same single setup every single day consistently over time because that consistency and that robotic mindset of your day trading is the only thing that's going to keep you profitable long term because if you keep switching back and forth between this strategy and this strategy and this new hot topic and oh I saw a new video on this on YouTube that's going to confuse you and it's going to cause you to redo step one 50 times as opposed to just doing step one and then mastering it and then doing that consistently over time it's the same thing with diet and exercise you diet and exercise consistently every single day for a year, your body's going to be different. But if you do it for three days and then you take a week off and you do it for five more days and then you take two weeks off because you went on vacation and then you eat healthy for two days, like really, really strict, and then you take three days off because you have a birthday party, that's not consistency and you're not going to get the same results as the person that dedicated their time and was consistent every single day for an entire year. Now, the number three thing that I learned from day trading was perseverance. I had to learn the hard way. There was a lot less tutorials on the internet when I started day trading. And so I made a ton of mistakes starting out. Through those mistakes, I lost countless thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. But because I saw the potential and what other people were doing, I knew that I could do the same if I just put in the work and put in the time and master the skill set. So no matter how down I was mentally about the losses that I was taking, I still persevered because I knew that it was possible. That knowledge of the possibility kept me emotionally invested in it and allowed me to persevere through all the bad times, all the blown accounts, all the arguments in my relationship, every single negative aspect that stemmed from day trading, I was able to persevere through that process of perseverance. I got to a point in my life where I'm extremely, extremely comfortable and I make a really, really, really good income. A lot of people quit at the first sign of trouble. A lot of people just give up because it's hard. Everything worth having in life is hard. If you could just suck it up and get through the hard things and persevere through that, promise you, your life is going to be better in every single way, shape, and form. Now, because I was able to persevere through all of those things and I saw how bad it could be, but then when I got to the good stuff, I realized how good it could be. And that's where the fourth life lesson that I learned from day trading comes in, and that's optimism. If you're constantly negative about everything that you do in your life, you are always going to have these negative, pessimistic outlooks on everything. But if you switch your mindset to a little bit of optimism, that starts to grow inside of you and you become more and more optimistic about everything. So even if a crap situation manifests itself in front of you, if you keep an optimistic outlook on it, it makes it way easier because you know that the likelihood of a good outcome is just a little bit higher. And if you're optimistic about everything in life, you're only looking for the good things. So you're attracting these good things. I know it's like the law of attraction or whatever, but I'd rather go through my life being a happy, optimistic person than a miserable, pessimistic
autistic person. You can see those people as they get older. Let's say, for example, you have a happy grandma and you have a grandma that's kind of miserable. You can see it on the wrinkles of their face, whether they have wrinkles from smiling their entire life and being optimistic or whether they have wrinkles from frowns, like it's usually in a lower face versus nice crow's feet. The simple difference between optimism and pessimism really shows later on in life. So I would rather spend my life being optimistic and happy. And the last and most important thing I learned from day trading is perspective. In order to be good at day trading and in order to fully invest your time and energy into such a thing, you need to think differently than 99% of people. 99% of people think that they should go to school, get a degree, get a job, get married, and do like the normal life path. But a majority of these people live normal lifestyles. They make 35 to 50 grand a year. They have a house with two kids. They're drowning in their mortgage. As inflation goes up, you can hardly afford anything. So you have to cut costs everywhere. You need to look at the prices of this cheese versus this milk, like figure out and really narrow down so that you can survive. I don't just want to survive in my life. I want to thrive and I want to do whatever I want to do. I want to go to dinner. I want to order whatever I want. I want to go on as many vacations as I have the ability to do. So you need to change your perspective on how you see money, how you see the ability to make money on the internet, whether you're working from home or trying trying to day trade while you're working in the office, you need to understand that there are people out there that their net worth is multi-billions, if not hundreds of billions of dollars. Some people even have trillions of dollars and you have 35,000. So you must change your perspective in order to unlock that potential. Imagine you met somebody that looked exactly like you, same age, same height, same family situation, everything exactly the same. You showed him your bank account and he showed you his bank account. You have $16,552, which you've been saving up for a rainy day fund. And he shows you his bank account and there is $116 billion in there. Same age, different life path, different perspective on money. If other people have made billions of dollars, you can too. You just need to model what they have done. I'm modeling what people have done with day trading and I'm on my way to get those billions. Anyway, those are the five things I learned. I hope you got some value out of this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, definitely smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next video.